Barangay Captain Honorable Hercules Sandigan, PTA President Mrs. Estrella Antula, to the faculty and staff of San Isidro National High School, and to the parents, graduates, visitors, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today, this task of introducing our guest of honor and speaker is a great privilege. I know this one is difficult, but the thought that he is a man of virtue and simplicity, he is a living inspiration to the young ones. We are so lucky that he really finds joy to be with us today, despite of distance and his hectic schedule. Our guest of honor and favor is a native of the now Antequera Bohol. He is the son of engineer Arnolfo Laverja and Mrs. Hosina Laverja. He graduated at Antequera Central Elementary School in the year 1998 as fourth honorable mention. He finished in secondary school at San Isidro National High School, San Isidro Bohol, in the year 2002 as first honorable mention. Awarded as Mathematician of the Year, fourth pleaser in the Division School's press conference for his writing English and represented Bohol Division and Regional Schools Press Conference held in Lapu Lapu City in the year 2000. Editor in chief of school paper publication, The Dreamers. He was the former student body organization president. Rump as Lieutenant Colonel Adjutant in Citizen Army Training. Received a Leadership Award from President Gloria Macapacal Arroyo. In the field of science, he was also a fourth pleaser in the Division of Bohol P6 Olympiad. He also excelled in the Academy, having an Academy, Academic Excellence Award Bronze Medalist. He finished at tertiary level at Bohol Island State University, former Sibiska, with a degree Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering last March 2007. Recipient of Carlos P. Garcia Scholarship Program. He led his dad as class mayor from second year to fifth year. He was also the president of the Mechanical Engineering Society in the year 2007 and granted full scholarship of Prime Review Center Cebu City and passed the Mechanical Engineering Board examination in October 2007. As to his work experiences, he worked as piping design engineer at Mitsubishi Heavy Industries in Makati City from January 2008 to June 2011. Senior Piping Design Engineer, Saham Al Shamal Engineering Consultancy, Al Kubar, Saudi Arabia. Piping Design Engineer, Samsung Engineering, Jubel, Saudi Arabia, February 2014 to September 2015. As to his affiliation, presently he is the officer of the Bohol Transport Cooperative Committee on Safety and Engineering, regular member in Philippine Society of Mechanical, Mechanical Engineers. President Bohol Island School University Mechanical Engineering Alumni Association. Our guest this afternoon is not just an achiever, he is also a business owner of Labitia's boarding house 
located at the Magdawi Mall and a tourist transport operator. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to present to you our beloved guests of honor this fifth graduation exercises. Engineer Eliakim Labindia. Okay, I'll be grand about those Thank you. Let me now take your seats. Thank you, ma'am, for that kind introduction. And thank you for inviting me to speak today. I consider it a great honor to be invited to speak to you today. Sa katastaas po sa introduction ni ma'am, na ako'y nakalintan o butang. Supposed to be is happily married <laughs> to Mrs. Julieta Lavendilla and blessed with one child. Nakalitan, pero iasa kong kasing-kasing. <laughs> Bitaw, for every month's success, nagyoy, Woman behind me. Tama? Usak to. <laughs> Bita. To our LDU officials, headed by Honorable Mayor Attorney Yusdado Jimentiza, Barangay officials, our public schools district supervisor, Sir Romulo S. Sinabre, School Head, Sir Olympio Limogon, Teachers, all the teaching and non-teaching staff, so to be teachers, guardians, parents, or so to be parents, Single parent, ug sa mga dili estudyante, estudyante, mangupiahay man o kupiahanan. And of course, the graduating class of 2022, maadong afternoon na itong tanan. Ikulbaan ba mo? Ako bigumpaan kung gamay. Bita. Today is a great day. It's a day to celebrate with your families and friends. A day you've been waiting for since you entered high school. My dear graduates, I will encourage you to use your diploma to acquire knowledge through education. 20 years ago, Paria sa Kunindo nga ni graduate dere sa San Isidro High School. Di ba ang lata? Iuban na ko? Sa siyang kamanagsoon, unumi nga ni graduate dere sa San Isidro High School. Sa una, Masabado, magkadua rami o mahuman ang among trabaho on. Ang sabado mo ay adlaw na mutabang ni nila nanay o tatay, mamasak, maglumi o kubras. Sa abong pag-eskwela, naagyan ang sabnabong ang kalisod para makalampos. Gali na maligya ni Kuyog sa akong isoon o newspaper ini kadit Domingo dito sa lungsod sa Anagera. O during weekdays, mamaligya ko ni o itlog sa kuop sa eskulahan niya sa San Isidro High School. 
Ili kahapon, ili kagawas na sa klase, magitawa ko mo at to ko ila ka mamlingling naraka, ila ka mamahasin. Kay magbuna, itawa na lang makalibre ko o panihapon. Punta o kuliting sa mga ginikanan o sa mga maistra. Tu ami ila kananay munday or di ila kanay tansun kay ila ka tay sinyo kay naghungit or nagkamot ni sa basak kay nangidawat. Usap-usap sa akong itsukon na nag-part-time job sa fast food team. Naasan din nag-work sa library para malibre sa isulahan. Nay panahon nga muat tumi sa tagbilaran nga ang among baon puto bra sa martes. Unda inan rami nila ni tatay o nanay nga punan ili ka martes human o dangka o glogit. I remember one of my brothers wala ni para palit o black na medyas sa ROTC na ngayon ra kung suon o itong naritaso sa mananahi unza ijang itahi para himuon na medyas I am telling you dili babag ang kalisod para malampo sa pag-eskwila kami siyang kamanagsuon Uban sa panalangin sa ginoo na humani tanan ng eskwela. Sa tanan ng mga pagsuway o kalisod sa among nagian, mas naling kamot ni nga mulampos o magkapot ang among pangandoy. Wala lamo sa yangi ang singot o kakugi sa among nanay o tatay. Ang kalampusan ninyo karon kalampusan usab sa inyong magi, mga ginikanan o sa mga tao nga nisuporta sa inyong pag-eskwela. Among sultian, ako mong sultian o unsa ang among nangumanan para ma-inspire usab kamo o kamong malingkamo sa inyong pagtuon. Kung nahimo na mo, mahimo usab ninyo. Ang among eldest is a licensed civil engineer. The second is a certified public accountant. The third brother is an electrical engineer. The fourth, maybe some of you know him, he was also a graduate in this school. Si Victor Ronald, he is an electrical engineer. Then the fifth, Also a graduate here, Roberto is also an electrical engineer. Then I am the sixth in the family. Then the seventh is my sister, who is a certified public accountant. Then the eighth is a mechanical engineer, and then our youngest is a registered nurse. Sa namong mga isuon, lain-lain ni o provision. Lain-lain ni among trabaho. Sama usap ka ninyo pag umani ni graduation, lain-lain ang inyong panulungan. Lain-lain ang atong paagi sa pagpakibiso sa kinabuhi. But you know what? You can be whoever you want to be in the future. You can be a doctor. A lawyer, a politician, a full-time mom, or a school teacher, a farmer, or a factory worker. As long as you love your work, as long as you have the passion on it, you can never go wrong. When I finished my college and passed the board exam, I work as a design engineer in big companies. I started my engineering career at Mitsubishi Heavy Industries in Makati City. 
I heard a word in Sasek Engineering Consultancy. Then I transferred to Samsung Engineering, both located in Saudi Arabia. And then after I have a savings, I came back here in the Philippines for good. And then a rental property as a source of income. We also have other business that we manage together with my wife. We do have van. I drive by myself to bring tourists to various beautiful spots in our beloved province of Bohol. I have great time meeting different people and at the same time earning while I bring tourists to various destinations in our beloved province. Success for me is doing what makes you happy. People might disagree on your view, but what matters most is your happiness. Basin, bisan sa akong mga kaila, mangutana, kay nako kuno ang sulto kung i-compare dito sa gawas kung magngita ni Dere sa Pilipinas. But what matters most is my happiness. When I was at your age, I remember one of my brother's notebook written that there was the four P's in study. I cannot remember fully who was the author of it, but what remains in my heart is its thought. And nahimo na akong usa ka akong mga guide para muman sa pag -eskwela. Number one P is plan. Pagplano. Maybe some of you here wala pa ka-decide kung kunsa ang kurso that you are going to take up in college. Sakto? Or sakto kyo? My advice is just examine yourself. If numbers is your strength, you can take engineering courses. You can take education major in mathematics or any other related courses. Kay walay laing tao who knows our strengths and weaknesses more than ourselves. Number two, prepare. Pag-andam. Ang patuon ang himong priority sa inyong pag -eskwela. Maximize your time sa mga tunanan. Avoid distraction sa inyong patuon. Usa ni ini ang pag-minimize sa IT. Social media, naghan na kadong adik rong panahuna. Number one, social media. Ubra, uban, suprahan sa online gaming, kanang ML or mobile legends. Painan o magsubrahan dua, inigting exam, ang meaning sa ML becomes magupya lang. Unsa ang ikupyahan kay wapoy nagwapot nagtoon au hagbog tanan impas impas imong taon impas padu dai imong kaum maon number 3 persevere paglahutay again dili gyud palikayan na makaagi kita og kalisod apan why keep up ay Padayon lang sa imong pagpaningkamot o pagtuon as long as you will consider the other P. Number four is pray. Pag-ampo. Dago nga tabang nga nami tagsa-tagsa ka mga scholarship sa una para makalibre ni sa tuition. Apan tungod sa mong kadaghan nga managsuon, 
Nakalisod-lisod itawang panggasto o baon plete o misilanyos peace. Sila nanay o tatay kalungkodungko itawang o pamaylo. Ang binaylo, ilisan o binaylo. Muragway kay ipasan. Nagyoy ni Abot nga tayo nga nagdungan-dungan ni upat ang college. Tulo ang naa sa high school o duha ang naa sa elementary. Wala doon itang may pasagdi sa ginoo. Ganit sa among pag-eskwela, pudere sa San Isidro, kami unong ka mga managsuon, di pa puyo ni Sabalay nila kanay Arle, o taydol ko mahulay nga libre, walay abang. My dear graduates, strive hard to be successful on your own ways. Our journey is not definite. We might have plans, but sometimes it will not be given to us. We will encounter lots of twists, ups and downs in life. But the important thing is how you bounce back. I wish you the best for your life. Embrace the challenges and get ahead of things. May God protect and help of you as you enter the new phase of your lives. Before I will end with my speech, May I request you, the graduates, to please stand. And together, let us honor the people behind your success. So if you are able to see your parents, guardians, and your teachers, Give them the snappy salute. And now, let's give them a big round of applause for our dearest teachers, their dads, and proudest parents, congratulations class of 2022 and well done.